Hey, I just want to show off these weekly productivity planners that came as a special launch. Um, they're seven by nine. This is the vegan leather cover. It's not a snap-in cover, which is kind of a bummer. So I'm trying to figure out a way to actually cut this out to maybe use it as a reusable cover because I like this um, mid-century circles. Anybody who knows me knows I'm in love with layers, but this is just really pretty in the vegan leather. Um, it comes with the larger coil. So if you use the Erin Condren notebooks, let me show you one. Um, they This is a seven by nine notebook, um, just a regular notebook that I use for project management stuff. This is a vegan leather cover that is um, removable. I want all vegan leather covers to be removable so I can just stack them and hoard them. Um, but if you see the size of the coils, Yoink. So this is what a normal Erin Condren notebook coil looks like. You can see it's kind of the same width. Maybe this one's a little bit thicker because of this folder in the back. Um, but it comes with the giant coil. I say giant coil, not as big as the teacher coil. It's the regular seven by nine planner coil. So I uh, love Erin Condren, have for several years now, but I am not a fan of the 7x9 regular coil. Any chance I get, I use a slimmer coil. But it did come in this rose gold. So I'm cheap and I never get anything other than the silver coil that comes with the planner. Um, but this one did come in the rose gold, which is kind of cool. Um, it's a different uh, vibe and it looks nice with the mid-century circles. Um, so what these look like is it is... Each week you have about six months worth of planning in each one of these. I got two um, because I, I think I'm going to try and plan it like my regular planner for the year. We'll see. Um, so it says week of at the top if you can't see that. And then there's a first letter of each week. Um, Monday all the way through to Sunday. On the one side in these blue boxes. Now it's whatever. But um, they're always blue boxes. No matter what. Uh, which is fine. I just, I think we're all kind of used to the changing colors of the Erin Condren stuff, but it's fine. Um, so you have the blue boxes here. There's no separators or anything. So you can kind of put whatever you want. You could use it like a journal or as a tracker for whatever. And then on the opposite page, you have uh, task lists. The reason I like the tasks lists is because um, that's how I plan. I plan really in a list format. And then you have an empty box down here. And then up here it says weekly goals, top priorities, and self-care. Now, obviously, you could rename those boxes to whatever you want. The difference between weekly goals and top priorities to me is like the same thing. Um, but then that's not it for the week. So you actually have another spread for that week. This is habits, tasks, and routines, it says. There's a Monday through Sunday. So you could um, put habit tracking, and then a blank page. And then there's a third chunk for that week, another notes page, and a productivity page where it's like notes here and then task list here. And then you start into the next week. So you actually have three pages for every week. Um, I think it sounds great to have three pages for every week, but anybody who uses their planner as a work planner, I think would say three pages is both too much and not enough. You're not going to use it for meeting notes probably because there wouldn't be enough space and maybe there's too much space to track kind of maybe projects you could track. Um, these habits seem like a lot to me. I would expect this to be half this amount. I don't know who is using a full page of habit tracking every single week, but the prep that that involves to me is like insane. Um, so more power to you if that's what you guys like. Um, so let me show you how I'm using it this week. I just started just to see how I would like it. Um, as you can see, my super healthy lunch yesterday um, and dinner now that we speak about it. So um, I thought maybe for the first spread, I would use this like um, a meal tracker. So I, I put the dates next to each day. I don't know that it actually matters. I never know what date it is. I think today's the 23rd. I have no concept of time. Um, and then my son, I put his um, meals that he has at daycare for the week and then list out um, dinners and lunches for me um, to track them. On this side, I thought, okay, 
this is just general stuff for me. It's gonna be house stuff, not specific to work. Um, and then what are my top priorities? I have to start looking at our vacation tracking and I'm trying to walk every day, okay? So that's what I have so far for this week. Then I gave it my best shot to come up with stuff I could track every day. I, I, I ran out really quickly. I, there's no way I could come up with this many things to track. Um, so it's more like, did I take my pills on time? Did I not fight with my husband? <laughs> um, did I read? Uh, did I take a shower? Did I wash my face? That kind of stuff. Um, so I could see this being a really helpful layout if you want to put everything in one place. I could see using this for um, like each day what your main priority is if you were working on a project. I could see this being maybe some of your main appointments for the day. Definitely good for meal tracking. If you cook and you want to track all your meals and meal plan ahead of time, I don't do that personally, but um, I think that would be a good use of this notebook. I have two of them, so I kind of have no choice. I have to use them. I, if any of you agree with me, it's like I can't not use a notebook once I get it. So I've just been staring at it, trying to come up with ways to use it. So that is the plan. Um, it just keeps going like that for a while. Let's see if there's anything else at the back. So let's see, this is another week. And then it looks like we transitioned to just notebook pages in the back, quite a few. So I guess if this is only for six months, maybe you could use this for like meeting notes. Um, and then you actually get stickers. I don't know why I didn't notice that before. You get a lot of stickers. So you get one page. It's really like they expect you to use this like a six month planner. You get your birthday stickers, regular stickers. And then you even get a, a double sided folder in the back. Not once have I ever used a double sided folder from Erin Codron, but I love them. Um, and then obviously the vegan leather cover at the back. It's pretty. I really like it. It's thinner than a life planner. So if you wanted something thinner than that, this would be a good choice. Um, obviously, this was a one-time release, so I don't know that they're going to make this again. I like it. I think two pages is probably enough. This third page, I would probably take out this page because I don't do habit tracking. So me personally, that would be great. But um, maybe if you were tracking like fitness, this would be a good fitness tracker because you could put down like workouts and what your like weight goals are or like strength goals or toning goals or whatever. That might be a nice way to use it. Um, so I just really wanted to show it off because it's so pretty. Uh, so that's it. Um, this is the weekly productivity planner special edition from Erin Condren. Bye guys. If you like me, subscribe.